data is running the physical economy. We've heard a lot about the self-driving car, but what's happening even before the self-driving car is uh, self-driving commercial vehicles are coming into the picture. And that's a specific, that's, that's an interesting case because a lot of our physical economy, a lot of the transfer of goods across the economy happens on containers, on trucks, in ships, all of which can increasingly become heavily self-driven. Because if you think of a car moving inside a city, it's a very complex environment. And so a car needs to become very sophisticated before it becomes self-driving. But the real vehicles on which our economy moves in the form of commercial vehicles, they are already moving in the direction of se se being self-driven. And as these self-driving vehicles get connected to each other, there's a whole ecosystem that starts working together. Very soon, we're going to see fleet management moving in this direction where the entire ecosystem gets orchestrated by a platform. Another example that's very interesting that comes to mind is a food company called McCormick Foods. McCormick Foods has traditionally been in the simple business of creating herbs and spices. But increasingly, it's moving in the direction of getting into the data business. What McCormick Foods does today is it's, it's created a service called the Flavor Print, where the flavor print essentially asks you a set of questions, and you give it data on, uh, you, you, it, it essentially asks you what kind of foods you like, what kind of foods you don't like. Think of it as a tender for food. You either like something, you don't like something. And on the basis of all of these questions, it determines what kind of a flavor print you have, what kind of foods you're likely to like in the future. Today, once you've decided all of these, uh, once you've given all of this data and they've created this data flavor print about you, it starts recommending you better recipes and, on, and all those recipes use McCormick spices, so that's a way of selling more spices. But the bigger play that they have is not simply to sell more spices, but subsequently to create this data footprint as a mechanism to orchestrate an entire ecosystem. What that means is tomorrow you could go into a shop, you could buy a Nestle food product, and that food product would have a food would have a data flavor print on top of the package, and you can compare your own flavor print with that using an application and determine whether that food works with you and whether you're likely to like that food or not. You could go into a restaurant and you could see on the menu the flavor print next to the food and determine whether you are likely to like that particular food item or not. And so what they're doing is they're using the central data to create an entire ecosystem of food around themselves. Another example of a company that's doing something very interesting is Walgreens, a retailer that has traditionally been in the business of selling medicines, but now it's increasingly realizing that people, when they buy medicines, are giving the retailer a lot of data about what kind of physical problems they have, what kind of diseases they have. And on the basis of this data, they're building a profile about the patient and are then connecting the patient with other telehealth professionals and creating a whole healthcare ecosystem around that data. Another example, if you think about it, is Disney today allows you to interact with the amusement park. You go to Disneyland, it allows you to interact with the amusement park with a data wristband that you have on yourself. And based on the kinds of rides you like, it starts personalizing your interaction with the entire amusement park. And so increasingly, we're seeing this happening across different industries where different kinds of companies are moving in this direction of leveraging data to create an entirely new ecosystem of value and using this data to start connecting consumers with new kinds of producers, to start finding new markets for producers, to start connecting machines with each other and creating entirely new ways in which business is done.